Good morning, good morning. Greetings from sunny Busan, South Korea. Today we've got a special episode because we're going to be visiting the beach and also having great Korean food. So we're at the biggest beach in Busan, Haeyeonde Beach. We're going to walk around for about an hour, show you what it's all about. But what's on my mind is lunch. We're having a Korean royal feast called a Han Chanjik. It's centered around a principal dish and many different banchans, many different Korean side dishes. I can't wait to try it all. I brought my appetite. I purposely didn't eat too much for breakfast so I can feast for lunch. So we are just walking along the boardwalk so far and the first thing we noticed were these giant sand castles, man. Giant, like ginormous, easy. Like some of them are like 20 feet, 30 feet tall. Yeah. That one over there reminds me of King's Landing in uh, Game of Thrones. If you ever watched the show, if you yeah. haven't, you're like one of the only people on earth. Uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and the funniest one by far is the Sai one. Opa Gangnam style. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Walking along the beach, you've got a giant boardwalk. It's just so comfortable to go for a casual stroll along here. I think we'll head out to the actual beach in just a few moments. And yeah, I guess like what's going on right now at the moment is there seems to be a lot of renovation and preparation for the summer. I guess the peak months must be July and August and it is late May right now. So they are getting ready for the summer season. So this particular part of Busan is completely different from the area we covered yesterday. Yesterday we visited old Busan, a lot of traditional houses, not so many high rises. Over here the complete opposite. It's a very newly developed area, lots of tall buildings off in the distance and yeah quite the contrast between the two different areas of the city. So dude what do you think of the beach so far? I love it right now it's so peaceful. It reminds me of like Miami Beach, how it is, like how wide this beach is. Yeah. From the boardwalk up to the actual water, it's yeah. easy, like 200 feet. So you have the boardwalk, you have the sand, you have the ocean, you have all these skyscrapers, and this is the new part of the city. Feels like an entirely different city out I here. Mean, it's a whole different world. It feels yeah. like a super like modern. Yeah. And, and you see a lot of hotels, and also it's hotels, it's office buildings. These buildings right here are like brand new, and they have helipads on the top. You can see. So we have moved on to Dairy Beach and we are heading to the Han Chanjik restaurant on the seventh floor. And we are going to Bansang restaurant. So excited to start this Han Chanjik. There's already a nice spread of food that's arrived at the table. So here we've got a bosan plate, which is basically two different kinds of porks. We've got the samjang. It's a red pepper paste sauce with soybean as well. We've got garlic, we've got onion, we've got a, a pickled dish over here. There's one last piece of duck, that's got my name on it. <laughs> um, over here it looks like kind of like a tempura style vegetables. We have salad and we have sweet potato, glazed sweet potato. So I'm starting off with that. That's really good, uh, kokuma. Love this. Mmm. Mm. It was like having dessert. Moving on to the duck. Mmm. Oh yeah. It's really smoky. It's got a bit of a sweet kind of like a teriyaki glaze. I love that. I forgot to mention we also have a duke porridge. Traditional Korean porridge. Mm. Mm. It has a really nice smooth texture. It's not particularly sweet or savory. It's a nice contrast because some of these other dishes are, are really spicy. And we'll move on to this. It's like a tempura. Oh, so juicy. Oh, it has a pepper in there like delayed onset by the spice. Now I'm gonna try the bosan. I'm taking the meat for a swim in the samjang sauce. Grab some onion. Grab some of the other pickled vegetable. Wrap it up like that. One bite in the mouth. Mm. Oh my god. That's by far my favorite so far. The nice thing about bosan, the pork, the steamed pork, is that this is a typical dish that you would have for a hand chanchik. Every time I've had Han Chanjik, this has always been a part of it. Courses keep coming out, and next up we've got Chop Chai. One of my favorite Korean dishes. It has sweet potato glass noodles, mushrooms, carrots. Okay, the next one is a dish that's probably most popular with foreigners in Korea. It's called bulgogi. It's marinated beef. It has a sweet taste to it. It's not spicy, which is why a lot of, uh, why a lot of foreigners like it. For those who can't eat the spice, just come back. grab a big amount. Oh, look at all that. Oh. 
Mmm. Mmm. That's incredible. That's my favorite thing so far. And last but not least, we have these giant shrimps or prawns. They're very colorful. And you know what? I'm just gonna bite it. This is this is tricky. <laughs> oh man, I love this. So many different colors, so many different flavors. And this one is juicy. Yum. And there's more food to come. All right, next up, we are having our drinks. We are having a traditional Korean drink, Bokbunja, which is a raspberry wine. I don't think I've had this before even when I lived in Korea. So this is a real special moment for me. I've tried like big seju, soju, makari, but never this one. Ooh, it smells nice and fruity. Ooh, that is nice. It's very sweet. It's a sweet alcohol. You really taste the, the, the raspberry. Intense raspberry flavor. I mean, you can tell there's alcohol in there, but it's also a very smooth drink. It, uh, it goes down so nicely. It's actually is uh, it kind of resets the palate a little bit when you've been having a lot of meat and other things. Mm. Good stuff. And next up, I believe we have fried eel. It looks a little bit like the Korean tong suyuk, like it's been breaded and then has a sweet glaze over top. I'm excited to try this. Again, something new. Mmm. Oh, it's deliciously crunchy on the outside. It's a subtle sweet flavor to the glaze. It's not as tough as I thought it would be. So I've got myself some more bukbunja because this wine is fantastic. Mm. You can totally have it as a one shot. So we've got some breaded shrimp and some sweet potato. And sometimes there's a sauce for it, but I don't think there is here. So I'm just gonna eat it as is. Delectably crispy on the outside, juicy in the middle. Oh yeah. I can eat shrimp like this all day long. It's so nice to go from something that's savory, and this one is more sweet. Mm. Wow. This is a meal that never ends, and I just want to keep eating. I'm some of the... I'm some of the... Gumbe! And the good times keep rolling. We have a drink, another one that I haven't tried before. Seoul, it's called Seoul Jung Mei. It's a, a sour plum wine, is that right? It's a sour plum wine. And you can see the plums at the bottom here. I don't know if you can see them. Giant. Look at that. Moving them around like that. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Anyways, let's try it. Mm. That's sweet. That's sour. It has like a sophisticated taste. It lingers in your throat. And it's a very strong plum flavor. Already, I've said this is a meal that never ends, but <laughs> this is taking it to a whole new level. I did. I thought we were done the savory courses. I thought we were moving on to dessert. No way. Which is fine by me. I'm. I'm still ready to eat. So over here, we've got Dwayne John Jige, which is a fermented soybean paste soup with tofu. It has cucumbers. It has uh, other vegetables. And David, you said you thought you saw like some kind of seafood or? Some crab. Some crab in there. It's got a bit of seafood. So I'm just loading up a little bowl like this. Let that cool down for a bit. It's piping hot. We've got sticky rice in a bowl here. And we have five more banchans, if you can believe it. Six! Six more banchans. So we have over here, we have uh, gongnam mu, which is the bean sprouts. We have fermented radish. We have sweet roasted peanuts and mushrooms. And we have greens and another spicy. I, this might be a radish dish. I'm not entirely sure what this one is. I'm going to try a couple of those because there's so many of them. I'll take the peanuts first. So I'm just going to drop them into the sticky rice. I'm going to use my spoon so that they don't fall out. So the sticky rice, the peanuts. Mm. Oh yeah. They've got like a roasted taste and a bit of a honey glaze. I'm going to try some of the mushrooms. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. I don't know how they've been marinated with a bit of oil or something, but they're just so smooth and a little bit greasy as they go down the throat. I totally forgot that we've been given a special kind of kimchi. The owner came out here and said that this is a, the fermentation process has been longer, the aging process, and this is not typically served. So I feel pretty lucky to be having this, uh, this special kimchi over here. Mmm. Mmm. A very potent. Very spicy. Mmm. Now time to try the Dwayne John Jigga. So, grabbing a huge piece of tofu here. Mm. I just love the smell of this. That fermented, fermented soybean. Mm. 
such a rich broth. And after having some of that spicy kimchi, this has helped cut through the cut through the spice a little bit. It sets the palate slightly. Overall, this meal has been phenomenal. And I don't think it's over yet. I keep thinking like, okay, this is the last round. I'm not even gonna I'm just gonna stop thinking. When the when it's over, it's over. And I'm still ready to eat. And we are finishing off with a light dessert, thank God, because we've been eating so much food. So we just have um, freshly sliced pineapple, basically one giant morsel each. And then we have a traditional Korean dessert drink. It's called shike. It is made with rice. And the rice, there's little rice granules at the bottom. They're very soft, but the actual drink itself should be quite sweet and smooth, refreshing on a summer day. Oh yeah, nice and sweet, a little bit syrupy. A really nice way to, to finish things off. And I think that might be the end of our meal. I'm not calling it yet, but um, pretty sure, pretty sure. Dude, I can barely move. How are you feeling? No, oh, man, I exploded, man. <laughs> that was a lot, man. A little too much. I mean, the, the royal feast is over. Yeah. It was really epic. I mean, so delicious, everything. Yeah. But right now, what we're doing is just, we just got back on the bus. Yeah. And we're headed to a fish market. So we're gonna explore for a bit and see what it's all about. So we're just walking down the street in Busan and look what we found already. Yeah. It's a bit of a fishy situation. Fishy situation in a yeah. fish market. <laughs> Right now we're visiting the Chao Gaoji fish market, probably the most famous fish market in Busan. But what you can do is you can you can buy your seafood very fresh. I mean, it's still moving. Yeah. <laughs> and then you can order it, go sit down in a restaurant, and they'll prepare it for you right on the spot. Yeah, yeah. And they charge you a little bit the restaurant, just yep. like a cooking fee, basically. That's it. And so we're gonna end up doing that in a few days. But now this is just a bit of a preview of what's to come. I mean, it's really amazing. You have snow crab, king crab, you have sandfish, you have eel. I mean, you have like worms, sea worms. You got. Really cool. You got. You got it all. Everything you could ever think of and not think of. All in one place. So we have entered the main part of the Chalgalgi market. Fish market. It's incredible. It's like yeah. rows and rows of vendors. I mean, it never ends. We're actually right now at 363 <laughs> vendor. Yeah, each stall has its own number. The second you walk in, your nostrils are like smacked with the smell of fish. <laughs> oh my god, somebody <laughs> just clapped really hard. So basically the way it works here is that you come, you buy fish to take home, yeah. or you buy it, take it upstairs to a restaurant, they cook it for you, right? Right on the spot. And so I mean, you can pick out whatever you want to have. Yeah. Bring it upstairs and have a meal. And the okay. variety is like really insane. They have yeah. like they have snake, like a fish snake. They yeah. have like pancake fish. They have here octopus. They have clams. They have lobsters. They have crab. I mean, you name it, they got it. Lots got of clams. It. Lots of mussels. And we're gonna be back in Busan in a couple days. We are going to do this. We will do this experience. Yeah, we're gonna do it in depth. So we explored the fish market. Fascinating. I mean, that's just a very quick tour. We're gonna go back and do it extensively. And just across the street, a block away, is the Busan International Film Festival. It's kind of a market. Yeah, it's so, kind of like a souvenir market, I think. Yeah. But they're famous for that festival here. Happens every year, so let's go check that out. Okay, so we thought this was like a souvenir market. It really isn't. Not this at is all. like a street food market. It's street food, and there's also um, cafes and restaurants to the side. But down the heart of the street, it's all about the street food. All about the street food. In fact, there's so much street food here, we've decided on the spot that when we come to Busan for several days, we will come back here and film it all. Yeah, I mean. We'll do a street food taste test. It's full of delicious Korean food. They have like fried chicken with like sweet and sour sauce. Yeah. They have like udon, which is like hot pot. And dude, they have so look much, at this, man. Indian food. <laughs> <laughs> so there's also Indian, there's foreign food restaurants as well. Hey, sexy lady. Oh, 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 oh. Opa Gangnam style. What a long video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We had an amazing Han Chun Sheik. That was a highlight. 
also going to the beach. So much food, so much sightseeing. Yeah, guys, and if you love this video, give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe God. to both of our channels. David's been here, and Samuel and Audrey. We'll see you in the next food and travel adventure from South Korea. Peace. Peace. Peace.